so you have a new single, Every Other Memory. Congratulations on that. How does Thank it feel to much. have this song out there? Uh, well, uh, the coolest part is that uh, we already had a lot of songs recorded. So when everything kind of shut down on Music Row, we, we have been able to just kind of put the pedal down and go. Uh, it's different, um, obviously, because we can't travel. We can't promote it other than just doing stuff like this. So uh, it feels good just because I, went from the moment that we were in the studio recording it and it all started coming together, it felt really special and timeless. So um, I love being a writer in Nashville. I love getting to record my songs and, and to have, like, every time one comes out, it feels, it's just really, it's not something I take for granted at all. It's, it's, a, it's a special, special thing. Can you tell us a little bit about what was the inspiration behind this song? You know, I think that what country music does best some is nostalgia. Like we're so good at looking back and painting pictures. And, and uh, I think that's the part of this song that people really like grab onto. Um, it's, uh, I think, lyrically like so descriptive. And it takes you like right to a moment in each line. I, I kind of talk about each line like an emo it's an emoji sort of. And uh, so I, I really enjoyed, you know, like people's response and reaction. And, and I think that it's it's just, it's it, it reacts because I think it, it leans on what is already special about country music. I read that your wife, Marin, is in the song as well. What was it like kind of working with her on this track? Uh, well, we, we met each other writing songs and we've always like written together and sang together. Uh, she was in the studio kind of like when this song was coming together and being made and she, like we all knew it was really special from like the moment that the band started playing and she looked at me and was like, I want to sing on this one. So uh, she's obviously got an open invitation to sing on whatever she would like. And uh, I love uh, anytime we get to work together. You also covered False God. Have you always been a big fan of Taylor Swift? Yeah, and I think I've covered her song two times in my set. Um, I did dress off uh, Reputation uh, on my last tour. and it's really cool to dive into somebody else's songwriting. I think that like those two songs especially are like, uh, lyrically they're like, they, they're they poetic in such an interesting way. And um, False God especially, it reminded me of like this Hemingway short story called Hills Like White Elephants where like there's two people having a dialogue and you don't exactly know what they're talking about, but you totally get what they're talking about. And so uh, I just was really, uh, attracted to the lyrics of that song and I really I love New York City and just having like all those like New York pictures or like as a metaphor was I thought really brilliant so um, you know anyone who has a room full of people at their show has Taylor Swift fans in the crowd so it's been really cool to like surprise those people with that cover yeah and it's kind of a strange time also um, with everything being kind of shut down. Are you taking any time to work on new music while you're in self-isolation? You know, we, we had this time blocked off because we just had a baby. And um, so we haven't really had any music stuff go on. Uh, I know people are starting to write songs this way. Uh, and I think I'm going to have to start doing that soon. But uh but this has really just been a time to like figure out how to be a family and to like be home and, and uh, like figuring out how to be a dad. So not yet. We haven't quite done the music thing yet, but it's coming for sure. And then speaking of your baby, congrats. Um, what's life like been uh, being a new parent? It's a lot of work, uh, but it's really cool. I, you know, it's fun to watch Marin be a mom. She loves it and she's really great at it. Um, and I don't know, you, you, they say you forget about what it was like before they were here, and that's kind of true. It's, it's kind of hard to imagine us as a, just two people now. It's obviously, a, we're a family, and it's, it's just an amazing thing to, to kind of process. But we, we're just really blessed to be at home in Nashville and safe and to have him and, and both and Marin both be healthy. Uh, when, it, you know, there's a lot of people who are really struggling. We don't, we don't take it for granted to have our health and to have time uh, at home. So uh, it's, it's just been a really uh, gratifying season for us.
And have any of your country music friends reached out with any kind of parenting tips for you guys? You know, uh, I had some people tell me, uh, Lady Annabellum, those guys said, uh, get onesies with uh, zippers, not buttons. And they're totally right. Zippers are so much easier than buttons in the middle of the night. If your little bit, if your little one um, t picks up the music gene, because you and Marin are both so musically gifted, um, would that be something that you would be supportive of? Maybe have a family band down the road? <laughs> I don't, oh man. Uh, you know, I would obviously want to encourage him to do whatever he wants to do. Uh, I don't know if he's going to love this or hate it because he's going to be so immersed in it. Uh, we're just really excited for him to grow up and do whatever he wants to do. Obviously, like there's going to be guitars all over the place and he's going to grow up on a tour bus and live in Nashville. And we're really proud of all that. But if he chooses to do something else, then we'll learn how to do that thing. And uh, we just are really excited about raising a good human and uh if music's a part of that then that's great and if it's not then we'll figure it out what's been the most surprising thing to you about being a parent um that's a good question i've never been asked that question uh the most surprising thing you know i think the most surprising thing is how like natural it feels like you don't have the option anymore to do whatever you want. And I think that like having two people now that I feel like responsible to is, I thought it would, I thought it would be strange and it's not strange. I think it's just the, how the, the, the fact that it does just feel like it's always been this way in a weird way in a weird sense like it, it just feels like a natural thing like once you see it the, this kid and you take him home and you have your wife and your child like it just it feels like a very natural thing to be res like responsible for those two people now and not just yourself and, and not just one other person so uh i i guess the surprising part is how uh you sort of are already i feel programmed to do that already in a in a in a cool way I've also been reading online, a lot of your fans have been loving your new single. What's it been like getting that kind of, so, so much positive feedback? I was reading some of the comments and they're, they're just really loving this new song. Yeah, I uh, am really, this has been our biggest debut of any song that we've put out. So that's really cool. The reaction has been awesome. I, I feel like this is the most accessible thing we've ever done. Like this is probably the most normal song I've ever released. So. I feel like we have built a, an, an amazing fan base and that like putting out a tune like this that feels timeless is really special and, and I'm really just thankful that uh, we've gotten the response that we have. Yeah, and final question. If you were able to share a message with your fans who are kind of struggling during this time, what would that message be? Oh, well, I, I love I love that we've had this time to be home. I know that it's hard for a lot of people and, and um, I just keep telling myself and uh, the people that we work with and our friends with that this that nothing lasts forever and uh, I'm really excited to get back on a bus and get back out like to be playing shows and, and to see all of our fans and friends and, and um, but I you know, I know that it's not the same for everybody. Some people really struggle because they're either out of work or they're lonely. And, and um, I really do have a song. I, it does, it hurts to, you know, have them in your heart, but uh, nothing lasts forever. This is going to be uh, over when it's over and it's going to be uh, amazing to do music again and to see everybody. And I'm just excited for those, uh, those days.